Hey guys, it's Veron from Speak of the Stars, Stash Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today, today it's gonna be a sort of a different video again. It's real time, sort of, sort of. And yes, my nails are long. I'm sorry, I'll cut them soon. Yeah, they're kind of getting in the way. It's getting harder to type with them. But today I bring you a sketchbook tour. Um, I kind of really love watching these sketchbook tours on the internet of other other artists, and. I just finished this sketchbook and I thought I'd, well, make a, make a sketchbook tour. So this is usually housed in, let me see if I can grab it. It's usually housed in here. I should actually put this here for fun. Yay! So it's usually housed in here. The back, this back slots in here. So when you open it, it's like, ta-da! So there's a case. So you've probably seen, seen this in my speed paints and stuff, but... I removed it because, well, it's finished. So this is also the same sketchbook that I used um, in 2016 for Inktober. So I did do a flip through this, which I will link in the i-card if I remember. Otherwise, I'll link it in the ed card as well. That's really quick. Bells, you won't see much more of that. So at the end of Inktober, I should sit down. There you go. That's better. At the end of October, I decided to date, like make a divider sectioner here that sort of follows the, the, the theme of October of sorts and had it design and all. And I also added here at the very end when I finished the sketchbook, which was, which was on March 6, 2018. So I added this here, sort of a tab when I look through it, it's like, ta-da! Right, so the first drawing... Now, I will warn you that my sketchbooks are actually very sketchbooks. Um, they're not like the really organized pretty ones that you see that some people do. I have no idea how they do that. But my sketchbooks are literally sketchbooks. Like, they're no better than anyone else's. So, I'll see if I can actually pull up the drawings that I did. Or the corresponding sketches for these. Yeah. Let's see if I can grab it. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Right. So this is of Mashu Kairi Light. Um, of Fate Grand Order. I did this sketch of her. Uh, usually what I do are thumbnails in my sketchbooks. So I did like layout, um, flow, how I want her post. And in the end, it looked like this. I'm not 100% prepared. Where is it? Mashu, where are you? Mashu chan. Wait, where'd Mashu go? Ha! <laughs> where'd Mashu go? Where did I draw Mashu? Because that's Artoria. Where did Artoria come first? No, Artoria came first. Not prepared. Right. So, this is how the drawing turned out, which I sort of patterned off of this sketch. Because uh, I wanted her sitting in the first ones, but I decided showing Mashu in full was better. So, this is a. This is one of my character designs. It's of my OC Serial Nereitalus. Um, I even plotted out like what kind of layer I want him to have. So there's that. This was a sort of a really big thumbnail for a Yuri on Ice um, planet that I wanted to do. So I did on my moleskin, which is also red. Uh, blue is my favorite color. I just happened to get red stuff. But. The sketch honestly looks better, but whatever. This was some... Oh, this was supposed to be the Victor one. That pose was this, was sort of the sketch of sorts for the pose for Victor. I didn't 100% go with it, but that's the origins. Uh, this was a drawing ch challenge I didn't really do in the end. Um, basically, you piece on, post on Facebook draw myself as and then people will suggest what sort of art style they want you to see in they want yeah you to see in so someone suggested drawing myself in a clamp card chapter sakura-esque style so that's me i think it's way cuter than my real self but whatever this is a sketch of my character seiyan i really do like drawing him for dynamic poses mainly because he's a battle mage uh, he's a fire mage who goes on battlefields and stuff and he's a very active character he has this really nice cape cloak of sorts that I really like drawing, and his hairstyle is similar, or 
yeah here's the here's like a breakdown of his hairstyle actually um when i was younger i already thought of, of this hairstyle this asymmetrical thing uh by myself i don't think i really got it from any magazine or anything but my mom didn't really approve of it that much and i was really in college when i finally got that hairstyle so my hair is like this right now but at the time just so that i could shape out how the hairstyle how i wanted the hairstyle to be like i drew it on a character which happened to be Seiyan. so this is his sister kaylin i haven't done her character design yet i will in the future since i have it sketched out and all um yeah you'll see her soon this one oh i know what this one is uh if i know where i put it at least where is it i wonder this was the acrylic painting that i did for christmas in 2016 i believe random sketch another random sketch this one i think was the um favorite castell drawing yeah it's this one so this this if you can see it love you can see it after all so that's this uh i did the sketch here and then i wanted to play around with cloth here and then i there's a lot of space and i got a new pen i think so i played around with that so that's how that ended up uh, a drawing that i used oil pastels with um this was a technique that i was taught in college that you can dilute or soften or melt oil pastels with gamsol which is a let's see if i have it here Oh, it's outside. Never mind. It's an odorless mineral spirit that, well, these stuff substitute for linseed oil and stuff like that. This is, yeah, it was a. It's my wallet here. Yes, it is. Yep. Let me open it. So, this is an idea I had when I saw. Um, people put like stickers on their card passes in japan or some other place else and i wanted to do that with my original character so i made a drawing with two sides so i made my side <laughs> which is off the is that oh it expires oh it's july that thing now. yeah let's just cover that up for safety um it's a beep it's the mrt beep card it's not stuck on there it's actually just the washi tape that's holding the drawing there but Yes, my beep, beep card. Let's put in here. Now this... Oh. A lot of my sketches here are actually just thumbnails of drawings that I do before I actually do them. So this was the flowers and snow one that I really like. Um, I used colored pencil and watercolor to complete it. So it's this one. Is it in focus? Yes, it is. Cool. So yes, it's the rose snow one. So, this is how my thumbnailing process should look like. I have an idea or a pose, I would draw it out. And then the finer details, I would draw it in some other place or just to get the details out. This is for my old um, social media layout, I think. So, with my thumb potential, potential thumbnail templates and stuff like that. This was a sketch for a gift that I did for my best friend. Once again, say and print that. Um, this time holding a weapon. I really do like how, how this looks like. I should draw it. Maybe not a Saiyan, but somebody else. The Wayne. This is another Knights of the Round Table drawing. And the last one I did, actually. I am I got stuck on how I wanted to do Lancelot, and I forgot to do it. I'll bring him back soon enough. I'll bring back the Knights. I plan to finish the Knights. Or the Knights in the Fate Universe that have designs, at least. So this is the Gawain one. Which I honestly feel like the sketch does look better. This was supposed to be somebody else in the background, but I omitted them. I prefer the sketch, to be honest. Um, this facing too much back, but whatever. It's okay. Oh, this one. This one was my... Um, trying to think of the name for it. It was the... I can't find the sketch before it really put it there. Um, leftover watercolor challenge where I took my palette and whatever color was stuck there or solidified there those are the only colors I would use for the drawing so there's the sketch for it 
Mm. Another case if I like the sketch better because like the hand is well. I like them both actually. <laughs> yeah, anyway. This was just a random sketch. Um pose. It was supposed to be a joy again, but I drew Sari recently so I didn't upload it or I didn't do it yet. This one is actually oh didn't I do more of that somewhere? Oh here it is. So this pose I drew it out thought I would put it and then I refined it here which ended up being the bird in a cage one here so I like how the final version looks compared to this she looks kind of sinister here but yes that's how it turned out um, as you can see I changed it up a little bit but that's the original concept for it going back a little this pose, I believe, was still the one for the watercolor challenge. Them. The drawing's in a folder somewhere, but that's that. And I'm posing. This is. Oh, you're gonna see this before. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna go with this idea in the end, but this was supposed to be the sketch for Lancelot. I sort of wanted to go with this one, but it's too static. But I'll see eventually what will happen. And this joint I did. I actually bought my sketchbook to work once and the internet was just bad for that month so it was often that we didn't have internet and I need the internet to work sometimes so when it was down I drew serial here looking mad random sketch I did on the bus on the way home I actually also do weapon designs though they're not super intricate and super detailed yet but I am sort of trying to get into it more since I love swords and weapons in general so um, with my character design sheets that I do for my characters at least since they have weapons or most of them do I would include uh, a vector drawing or a vector illustration of their weapon which I use which I do in Adobe Illustrator so here one of my favorite drawings. It's the one fan art for Gudapal from The Master from Fate. Okay, where was I? Got interrupted there for a moment. Um, yeah. So, this was the sketch for a fan art I did for The Masters in Fate Grand Order. This is the one for the female master, Gudako. And, yeah, pretty much translated pretty well. I didn't know how to do that hand. So I did the tiny sketch first and I did the more detailed one here. I didn't know how to do that hand, so I tried to figure it out here. Didn't fully translate it here, but it helped. Oh, I got the... I got this brush pen. So I tested it out. Tried to see if it's waterproof, if it would bleed or anything. But yeah, that's what I use my sketchbooks for. Okay, this is the accompanying piece of Gudau, or Fujimaru Ritsuka, as known in the Fake Grand Order. Um, OVA, so that's the accompanying piece for that. Which, by the way, they all have, um, or most of these have speed paints up in my channel anyway, so just go and search for them. Um, another thing I haven't really realized yet this is supposed to be fan art of um, Minato Arisato slash Makoto Yuki from Persona 3. Uh, they recently announced. Or not so recently, I guess. They announced Persona 3 Dancing Moon Knight, which is like the dancing game of Persona, the Persona series, and I wanted to do fan art. And then um, we had the family emergency, so I didn't get to draw it anymore, but I'll get back to it. Some sketches I did while I was in the province. Ken Orina, which is a character. I did, I did the character design, outfit design session for him recently. Another sketch just to pass the time of Hatsune Miku, actually. Another sketch of Kin Urina. Um, Kin isn't exactly my most favorite character. Like, I like him, but he's not my absolute favorite. But he just he's just fun to draw, I guess. Uh, this is brother Kal Arena. Um, yeah, that's out. I was trying to figure out a way to do his outfit redesign, so that's why I drew him. This one, again, it's hidden somewhere. Um, this is the rain and flower rain, rain theme piece. Well, where did they put that? I wonder. 
Doh kasi na. I swear I had a folder of these somewhere. Here we go. Got squished. Yeah, so for my tiny drawings, I can keep it here. So this drawing, I don't have a speed paint off because I did this in the province and I wasn't able to record it. But this one is like the, it's actually just this. Um, I know it's like a lot of effort for this, but I wanted to figure out the pose and all of that. Um, this one, what is this one? This is, I noticed the New Year one, like the lantern pins. Oh, here it is. He's here after all. So lantern pins actually went through a lot of thumbnailing before he happened. So I wanted him like maybe close up and then like sideways like holding it out or just sideways posing. And I thought, hey, there's a nice pose. So that's how I ended up with this. So I guess the point I'm making, trying to make his thumbnailing is important because it makes it helps you figure out what you're trying to do even before you get on the paper itself. Because like if you don't really pan it out sometimes when you see the entire piece, it's like, oh, this is looked at date, or oh, it's lying in detail. So thumbnailing and sketching help you flesh out your idea to see if it's a really good idea. And yeah, another sketch, post, um, post studies, I guess. And this is a drawing for a gift I did for my friend. Oh, this one. This one is the one for the new year. This is Christmas. This is the one that's for new year. Here we go. Um, she's a bit more lively and cutesy in the sketch, but I said to go with a different feel for her in the end. But yeah, that's the, land, that's the fireworks grill. Uh, I was at this point, I was trying to ban from Shadow Knight Paladin to speak of the stars. So I was listing down all of my social media channels that used either or username to see which ones, just to tally it up and then. To see which one I can switch over to Shad to speak of the stars. So there's like more sketches and studies, more sketches, like post sketching using this guy, SH Figure Arts Body Kun. So more sketches, I think. I don't think there's anything in particular. Is it? Is it? Can't tell. The hoodie, though, from what I know, this the sketches for this guy the accompanying piece for this so it's the rain rain theme piece part two some more um random real life sketching this is a skill i had in college or i learned in college at least because i went to a fine arts course for two years i did graduate don't worry um, it is a double major, but whatever. Um, so we were taught how to catch from life. A piece that will, you, will, you might see very near in the future if I get it right. Some random sketching. Some more. My, my character is actually a uh, serial Nuritadus, and this is my best friend's character, Rain Gazelle. But I'm the one who plays him, so. Hmm. <laughs> Another of my characters, um, Baldrian. Degulus, I think is his name. He's a white hawk. Uh, random sketching. More random sketching. I, as you can see, I do like do, I like doing random sketches. And also, I tend not to draw on the back of the paper unless there's nothing really important in front. It depends actually on my mood, but but yeah, um, because I like keeping my stuff organized in the sense that if I want this idea, for example. The next, I have, if I don't like this page and I do something else here, I can go to this page and like try to refine it out when I come back to it. And it proved helpful in my job at least when I do graphic design. Sometimes I do sketches, I do studies and then submit it and then do something else and that's on a different page. And then they'd come back to me saying like, oh, can you revise it like this? Can you revise it like that? So I'd use the back page to do the revisions and the refinement and stuff like that. So that's why, also because it, it seeps through, so I don't like seeing that, so the pages are thin, so yeah. Uh, and this one, you might have seen this this recently, it's the Flora series that I wanted to do every month, but I started late, so yes. So this is the one for Carnation. Um, is Carnation here? Did I put it here? Or did I put Carnation? It's probably here. 
There. That's carnation. It took several sketches actually. It's one of the, f the few times that I didn't get the idea out right away. So what happened was I sketched it. I sketched a base thing out. Tried out some ideas. Went to the back here to try another idea and then refined it here. And that happened. This is the for February. It's not refined yet. And you'll see it soon. It actually, it's probably out by now since I want to release that before this thing. Um, but yes, it's for the violets one. There's no refined sketch for it yet because I got tired. I wanted to go to sleep. Random sketch again. Um, some body sketching <laughs> that I posted on Instagram and my friends were like, Oh, that's risque. <laughs> no, like my best friend at least. She was teasing me. Um, random sketch again of some character. And that's the end. Now I have a material test page. I don't do this anymore. Surely out of... I don't really need to anymore, but... When I first got my materials, I would try to see if they're waterproof and stuff like that. And I would test on this page. And that's the back page. And the cover page. So that ends the sketchbook. So, that is from November 2016 to March 2018. Uh, you must... Number one, that's why, I mean, the reason it took me such a long time, rather. Um, number one, I have several sketchbooks, actually, that are in use. So, after that, I used it till December, and then until the next November, and then October 2017 happened, which, by the way, I have a marker now for March 2018, and then things got busy at my job, I think. I stopped redoing really a lot of sketches. And drawings for that matter and not to mention I don't really do my sketches and thumbnailing for digital works here so that's not there as well but yeah I also don't draw a lot as much as I don't draw as much as I did in high school because in high school I drew so so much like enough to use up one rim of um, bond paper in a month or two maybe but now after college as a working person man I really don't have enough time for this I do try to keep it in though because drawing is precious to me I, tr I try my best to work on it oh I forgot to mention actually the cover and um, this cover was actually like this only at the start it was plain and then since I didn't like that I drew on it so it's just using a fine tip, a fine liner, and a marker. So yeah, that's how I ended up with this. It's not perfect, but I really like how it turned out. So, actually even this actually, but we'll get to that when I finish that. This one is about to be finished. I think I have like two or three pages left. I have one page left. Yeah, I might do a sketchbook tour though, that is... A lot of that was shown already, but when I finish this one, you'll see it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you liked it, like the video, or even let me know, actually. So, I really do love watching this in other channels, so I hope you'd enjoy watching mine as well. Um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.